The Battle of Tianquan was a battle fought between the Communists and the Nationalists during the Chinese Civil War in the post-World War II era, and resulted in Communist victory. It is also called the battle to defend Tianquan by the Communists. Order of Battle Nationalists Southwestern Anti-Communist National Salvation Army Local Bandits Communists a company of the 555th Regiment on February 14, 1950, Cheng Jiwa the nationalist commander of the Southwestern National Revolutionary Army region negotiated with local bandits headed by Li Yuanhung to ally with him in an assault on the town of Tianquan County in Zikang. The nationalist forces expected an easy victory as the town was guarded by a single communist company of the 555th Regiment. The Nationalist Revolutionary Army besieged the town on the same day, severing all communications. The garrison was eventually overwhelmed by the Nationalist forces. On the February 15, 1950, over a hundred National Revolutionary Army successfully penetrated into the town via the Western Pass under cover of heavy fire. The People's Liberation Army managed to outflank and rout the attackers. This demoralized the National Revolutionary Army, who were forced into a stalemate. However, the situation facing the People's Liberation Army defenders was one of short supply and low morale. The final assault which occurred on the February 20, 1950, with over a hundred National Revolutionary Army soldiers, successfully taking over a bunker in the Tianquan. The defending company of the 555th Regiment then counter-attacked and besieged the bunker. The successful dynamiting of the bunker by the People's Liberation Army resulted in a military rout for the National Revolutionary Army. The Cheng Ji Wu was unable to stop his fleeing troops, forcing a complete withdrawal. Given the opportunity, the People's Liberation Army counter-attacked, inflicting further casualties on the National Revolutionary Army, and taking over a hundred prisoners. The National Revolutionary Army's failure was due to the reliance on poorly trained bandits. The bandits themselves were poorly organized and unwilling to fight. The few dedicated anti-communists under Cheng Jiwu were not able to change the tide of the battle.